Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Just playing around the other day and uh, came up with this. It's pretty cool. I'm not saying you'd ever draw it, but it might give you some ideas. And the one thing kind of good about this logo, it doesn't really matter what size circle you start with. We're just going to draw a circle. I'm not going to care about the measurement. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to make the next one 75% of that. And then I'm going to control D again, and it made it 50% of that. I'm going to leave the 50% in the middle, and I'm going to grab that one. And then shift select that one and hit T. So it put that other logo on top. Now I'm going to grab just that 75% logo or circle. Control D and make a duplicate. And move the center of the rotation to the center of the other circle. I'm actually going to bring in indexing lines. Because it's to me, it's a lot easier. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Grab that circle. Yep, we're there. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, 180 degrees. Control D, and it does it automatically. <clears throat> then just take any of these and get your virtual segment delete key and leave that. Take that line away, that line away, and that line away, and you get this. You know what? I think it's actually maybe this line too. There we go. Now, I strongly suggest that you control G to group it together. And then we're going to smart fill our new pattern. And I'm going to grab our circles and just nudge them out of the way. I am going to left click, right click. I'm going to go to effects contour. I'm going to contour to the inside one time at that far. I'm actually going to try. No, that's good right there. Now, normally you'd have to break the contour apart, but since we're using, this, we'll use the smart fill tool, we can nudge the smart fill tool out of the way and basically nudge these out of the way. And then we can bring this right back. And then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go here and put no outline. There's still a center piece, as you can see, I've got it grabbed. I'm going to go to the interactive fill tool, and I am going to go across, but I want, I want a shiny white in the middle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back to the interactive fill tool, go a little further, and then I am going to bring in a white right in the middle. Now I'm too far, so I'm going to bring it up because I just want a little, you know what, it's white on that side, so I need to bring this into a blue. And see how it kind of makes it look gleamy, like it's gleaming? Now, we could maybe use the eyedropper tool. We'll try it. Attribute eyedropper. Yeah, it kind of worked, but I don't like it because I want a little bit more blue on the other one. So we're going to grab the outside one. Get the interactive fill tool and do the same thing, but we're going to put blue, go ahead and put blue here and put the slide bar there and go ahead and bring in a white. And that might be too much white, but see how it makes it look. Now we're kind of even on the, the shiny part. I actually probably want to make that a little bit darker. So I'm going to bring in another blue and put it right there. Take another blue and put it like right there. There we go. I want it to stand out. Now I'm going to go ahead and group this together. Control G. <clears throat> Control D and make a duplicate. And move the center rotation to the center of the page. And then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. Control D. Control D. I really like my first one best because I used, uh, let's just do it. You know, it doesn't take any time. Make sure you don't have a duplicate. Move it out of the way. I did. So we're going to grab the outside. Yeah, see, we can actually grab the outside one. We've grouped them together now, so we have both of the um, interactive fields. But we can go ahead and change, put in this light colored on the other side. I'm really going to have to look to see. I must have had some blues on the very tip so maybe let's do this let's change let's take it back to blue 
and then add that little bit of a lighter blue green to there. There we go. Maybe even epsom it up a little bit. And this is this is one of those things that you really never know what it looks like until you duplicate it. And this this would be a good one to clone. Now it's still grouped together, so I just control D, click on the X and put my rotation in the center of the page. Rotate at 90 degrees, control D, control D. That looks pretty cool, to me at least. It's a little bit different. I think my first one's probably actually better. But it's a cool logo, or not a logo, but cool graphic that I think anybody could make. Anyway, that was a fun little project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.